Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan attends the three-day NATO summit in Washington after years of bitter differences with other members of the Western military alliance. Analysts say Erdogan goes to the Washington meeting on a good footing, having resolved contentious issues that dogged previous NATO summits. At the time, it was about NATO's enlargement to Sweden and Finland. That's now over. Uh, there's also a new secretary general, uh, which uh, Turkey backed, uh, the, uh, the former Dutch prime minister, Mark Rutte. And by and large, Turkey is online uh, with the uh, slick decisions that will relate to NATO support to Ukraine. But Erdogan's close ties with Russian President Vladimir Putin remain points of tension with NATO allies. His ties with Putin were underscored by last week's face-to-face -face meeting on the sidelines of the China-led Shanghai Cooperation Organization and Turkey's refusal to impose sanctions on Russia over Ukraine. That relationship will require careful handling by both Washington and Ankara. There's an understanding that as a country that neighbors Russia, that has a number of interdependencies, uh, this is uh, something unavoidable. Uh, however, in return, uh, Turkey is also quite cautious in not uh, crossing the red lines uh, set uh, by the US and, and, and by EU uh, in terms of the uh, current Russia sanctions. The NATO summit in Washington will give Erdogan a chance to meet with President Joe Biden. Analysts suggest that Turkey's growing importance in Africa, Central Asia and the Caucasus could be an incentive for the U.S. administration to increase its cooperation with Ankara. Administration and, and Turkish officials are looking into Africa, where Turkey has ambitions to expand its influence, both economically and in security terms. There is a renewed attention on Central Asia, and of course, uh, an effort to see if there could be more in the Balkans when it comes to Turkey and U.S. supporting the stability and EU enlargement process. A May meeting in Washington between Erdogan and Biden was cancelled amid differences over Israel's war in Gaza. And analysts say that could again prevent a meeting at the NATO summit. Dorian Jones, VOA News, Istanbul.